A new face? Looking for another chapter of dirty law for your biography? You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. <laughs> what do you think, silly? Love, of course. Hot and vulgar with me, or <laughs> sweet and sincere with my sister. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mesoberanzan love trick. Exquisite! You know the price, right? Come here, though. We have a room upstairs. There is nothing I haven't done. And nothing I won't do. Clients usually choose me over my sister when they're looking for a man of... extremes. A wicked gleam lights up his eye, far more sinful than any you witnessed before. Oh! Oh, you filthy thing. You have surprised me. Most people come in here with, let me stuff all of your hair into my favorite orifice, or I can't come unless you use your deep gnome voice. I'm numbed to all the depravities I conduct on a daily basis, but... Boring sex. That's a new fetish entirely. We mustn't waste a moment of this mundane night. darkness he instinctively caresses your neck before realizing he must do worse he squeezes your rear with a limp grasp oh kitten be bad for me be bad at sex i will do my best not to last more than two minutes for you dearest you engage in a tepid night of the most memorable, unremarkable sex. The drow seems to have the time of his life. Oh, you will learn things you wish you could unlearn. And the lessons will be pure tactile sensation. No sight, only whispers, sighs and touch. So, tell me, do you want some role play, an unusual sensation, or perhaps my legendary Menzo Baranzan love trick? again. <clears throat> I mean, of course. I shall draw my twin scimitars, Twinkle and Icing Death, and I shall slash twice. The night presses on as you take all of him within you. Then I shall use my favorite tool, the claw of a hook horror. You feel something murderously pointy start to prod around the soft flesh of your inner thighs. If not the best sex of your life, it was certainly some of the most memorable. What a fine time. Are you sure you aren't a cleric of Shiraz herself? He brings over a small chest and opens it on top of you. There are gentle pricks all over your body, 
as an unknown writhing takes over. Time to explore your underdark. The night presses on as you take all of him within you. His body, once so powerful over you, is lithe and light as a feather when you lift it. As you turn him over, there is a strange crunching beneath you from the wriggling creatures he dropped earlier when your head no longer swims with pleasure after your mutual release. You realize he spilled spiders all over the bed. What a fine time. Are you sure you aren't a cleric of Shiraz herself? <laughs> Sweet little prude. I will ravish you like a drow. His fingers trace labyrinthine paths as he teasingly caresses every part of your body. The night presses on as you take all of him within you. Oh no, not on the carpet! <laughs> Let's just say, it's not only Dwergar who can enlarge themselves. Incrementum incredibili. I will excavate the very depths of your Underdark. As the night dances on, he ravages you. All of us were deviants in utero once. Tonight, you will be born. Ah, well, it's your loss. Here then, your gold. <laughs> 